Okay, we're back down. We've been bringing our stuff down for a while now. Um, trying to get things set up. I'm trying this table out, but see if this works. Excited about that. Uh, we've got to dam it up a little bit here temporarily. We've been moving some rocks. This is right where we left off last time. You can see our orange flags. We left off right here. Um, we're gonna put our pump over there. But that's about it. We were here three weeks ago. There was a, there was barely any leaves or grass around anywhere. Nothing green. This place has changed so much. It's an, it's crazy. So we're gonna keep setting up and get dredging. Probably won't start today. We'll start tomorrow. But we'll be back and forth, and we'll try to record as much as we can. I'm really excited about this one. This is a good goal here. Really good pan. All right, we'll be back soon.
I just did our first little one hour sample run. Got really cold, so I came out to get something to drink and eat and maybe warm up a little bit. So figured I'd tan the first identification screen here in that. Saw a few pieces of gold down there. It's really shallow, not used to this. This is looking really good for a one hour sample. Maybe a tenth of a gram. This is just the top screen too. I am really happy with that. Looking pretty chunky. Really nice. Beautiful. Suck this up and get back in there, get back to dredging. We had did this area before, that was our video with the high banker conversion set up, but we lost so much out of the out of the hopper that we had terrible losses. So we went to this set up here. I think this is gonna be a lot better because everything comes through here. This is King's three inch uh, sluice box. We're set up here. Looking a lot better so far. Just got to get 10 hours on the box a day or so. That would be nice. Looking pretty good though. All right, we'll be back soon with some more.
all about, guys. We just found a nice, nice nugget. Mine and Roy just found a chunky, chunky nugget. We've been pushing through all this mediocre gold. We kept saying, you know, we get up further, the gold will be better. There was a lot of big boulders here. So we figured, let's keep pushing through. And this is what happened to get paid off. This is what it's all about right here. <laughs> Not too bad, guys. How's that feel? How does oh that feel? Oh my god. That makes all this cold mess worth it. Absolutely, man. We gotta find his buddies. There's gotta be some more in there. There's usually always more. That is a nice boy. Look, see, it's all red. It's in that red pack, that red, red material. All right, here we are. Favorite time of the day, clean up time. Been about three and a half hours today. Had a lot of complications, but the box is looking pretty clean. I don't know if you can see here, try to zoom in here. Right down in here. Let's go in there. Looking pretty good. Got a nice little pick or two we took it off and put in the snuff already. But it's all in there. This is going to be a nice pan. Okay, this is the moss from the second uh, stage. Trying to see some nice chunkies in there. Looks pretty good. It was a big heavy pan of black sand. I'm sure I lost like 50% of it. This is just kind of pre pan Get an idea of what's in there. I have to sluice it all later it's okay a lot of fun It's okay. A lot of fine gold. That moss loves to eat up the fine gold. Not too bad. What's going on, guys? My favorite time, cleanup time. I uh, ended up with about a well, completely full five gallon bucket of super cons, I'm calling them and then about a half, and I'm done with the big one now, and we're going down to the last little bit of the half. But look at this stuff here, it is all black sands and garnets. Gold panner's worst nightmare right here. This would take probably days to pan through. But it's looking pretty good a few times. My hose busted, so we had to stop and check the sluice out, and there's some colors starting to show up. All right, here we are still cleaning up concentrates. Um, now, if you remember this stuff here, I've already panned the mats out in the field. We clean the mats up every day, and then I like to pan them out there, get as much gold out of them as I can, and then I kind of see this as a little extra bonus. We basically know what we got every day, but I haven't weighed anything yet. Can't wait to weigh all this and get a final weight. I think we're going to be somewhere in the ballpark of three grand, maybe four if we're lucky. Um, that 1.1 nugget really helped a lot that's that was really nice so but i got these uh the gold hog cleanup sluice and then i was running into my old um sluice box here i got for a stream sluice we'll see if anything's down there i was had to run it safe and 
I like to run a little bit faster, so this gives me a nice peace of mind. Usually there's not much down there, a few colors. Usually get it all right up here, but I'm running a little faster and a little dirtier than normal because there's a lot of cons here, super cons. Just, but I'm excited to see what's in them. After this, we're just going to dry them up in the little pot and we'll get a weight. Coming up to the last little bit of concentrates here. These things were super cons, man. I mean, this would take weeks of panning, miserably unfun panning for not much reward. We got most of this stuff out panning. I kind of like to get it in there and just let the water take it away a little at a time. The thing about cleanup sluice guys, or any sluice really, is just consistent feed in my opinion. Just trying to give it the same amount of material all at once. You don't want to dump a bunch in there, then the water runs for a while, then dump a bunch more and overload it. You just want a consistent little feed that keeps, that I think gets the best recovery rate out of it. We're done. Alright, here's our full cleanup. This is a total of 36.5 hours. If you're watching some of the other videos, you saw us get this bad boy right here. That is one of the prettiest nuggets I've ever seen. Super jagged, was sitting right down there in this red hard pack, right on the bedrock. You can see it's still got a bunch of that red material in there. But this thing, wait. One point zero two seven. Clunky boy. Really like that one. That's what real gold's supposed to sound like. And then the rest of this, there's some chunky stuff in there, but nothing like that one. So where we're dredging is the very corner of our property. We wanted to take the worst first. We're gonna try and take it all. So we're starting at the very, very end of the creek and we're working our way into the better gold. When you do it this way, you always got something to look forward to because we got some really, really nice pans further up the river and creek way further up so we have plenty of uh, time to move forward I like to do it that way this way you don't dump tailings on your stuff and everything else so I can let me get my magnet get some of these black sands out of here You will pick up gold with these because if the black sand is under the gold, it will lift it up. So it's always worth another pan after. I save that stuff. So you can see right here. See the gold gets picked up. the nugget first and then we'll add it. I really have no idea what this is going to be. It always looks like more to me. Now sometimes you get really lucky with a guess. Alright, more than I thought this time. 
3.04 plus our clunker. 3.082. Okay, not too bad for the low grade material. The big nugget really helped a lot. So we know that looking forward, uh, moving forward, we got something to look forward to, and the goal should get better and better as we move forward. The chunkiest stuff, other than this nugget, has come from several hundred feet up the creek. So we got years of dredging, and it should get better every time. And we'll hit some hot spots. That's kind of how Georgia is. You got to take the good with the bad because you just get these little tiny areas, these little pockets that have really good gold, and then the rest is just kind of mediocre gold. And then every once in a while, you hit that nice spot, nice pothole. I'm pretty exciting. Really pure stuff in Aurora and Dahlonega. They got some of the purest gold. I could look at this stuff all day. All right, well, thanks for watching. We got a lot more to come soon. Um, hopefully, we can get there sooner, but we probably won't be back to Georgia until September. So, I'll have the itch until then. All right, thanks for watching. We'll be back soon. Thank you.